Hi, this is Penny with In Stitches with Penny. I have a fabric haul for you today. I went shopping not too long ago at Joann's mainly and got all kinds of stuff. I was just kind of in the mood and just decided, hey, I just want to go get, go see what they have. And I've also, you can tell my stack is building here and I've, I'll tell you where I got all this in a little bit. But I wanted to show you some fabrics that I got. I was just really inspired and wanted, just wanted to have something to work with. And then I can go look for the pattern. And so if I can find a pattern for these certain fabrics, I'm gonna post it right up here so you can see that. I like to do a lot of PDF patterns. I rarely buy the big four anymore. I don't have anything against the big four. I just like the idea of looking online, finding a pattern, I can print it out real quickly. I've got a system, how I put it all together, so it really doesn't take that long. And then I have a pattern right away. I don't have to go out to the store and see if they have it, and you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> so anyway, I found some of these. These are poly cotton blend. Some of them have some uh, metallic thread running through them. And I, I don't know, I, I guess I've been in a checkered mood lately. I thought this was just really cute. Probably just, you know, it's still summer. I'm not ready to let go of summer. I mean, it's just August right now. So we still have a couple months left. But I know fall's coming and you know, that'll be a whole different fabric haul at that point. But I still like the summer. And so whether I make this for me or my grandkids, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I just thought this was just fun. It just felt like summer, you know, a good gingham, even if you just put it on the table, <laughs> you know, as is, as a, as a table runner, you know, that's fun too. I love a good big buffalo check. Just be fun with a big flouncy top, you know, it's really thin and flimsy and it would be nice and cool. And, you know, black and white goes with everything. So I thought this one was really pretty. So I, I usually pick up about two to three yards. You know, two yards would make a top. Three yards could make a dress if it's kind of a slender dress. Um, but it just gives me enough fabric that I'm not just, you know, just kind of floundering and figuring out what to do with it. I really liked this. This was like my very favorite. Can you see the, the metallic thread running through that? That just made it fun, gave it a little bit extra sparkle. I do like some bling, and I just really like this. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it yet. I wanna be really creative with the check, but I'm, I'm just not sure, so I'm gonna look. And by the time this is filmed, there might be something up there, or there might not. <laughs> then I thought this was really pretty. These just kind of reminded me of something I would have purchased like back in the early 80s, the late 70s, the early 80s. I just really liked that metallic thread running through there. That just seemed, you know, fun and festive. I mean, it could even be for Christmas. That would be, be something fun to make a really pretty top or a skirt, um, you know, or a dress. So these are my kind of checkered patterns that I have here that I got at Joann's. So then, I went another time and as you know we've been kind of housebound for a while so you're just dying to get out and buy anything <laughs> it seems like so I really liked this little pattern of I guess it's just flowers and leaves I don't know I just thought it was really pretty I've been making a lot of these love notions tops this is the laundry day tea they're just so comfortable and I, you know this would go into fall really easily, especially if you can pull out that caramel color. So I thought that was really pretty. And I got two yards, which would easily make uh, a laundry day tea. And then I fell in love with this. I even bought yellow buttons. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I was thinking a dress. I guess maybe I am in a fall mood <laughs> with the dark colors. I don't know, I'm kind of, you know, on the fence. I don't wanna let go of summer, but yet I do love, love the colors here. And I'll find a dress. I've been kind of thinking of like a wrap dress. I'm really in love with Diane von Furstenberg's wrap dress. 
I haven't tried one on yet, so I'm not really sure if it is my style, but when I look, and I was in her shop just last October, I just really like that style. So um, maybe this would end up being uh, the DVF wrap dress. And there's a lot of patterns out there that could really make that into a DVF wrap dress. Well, and then there's all the fun, all the fun stuff that you can buy. Oh, there's another check with the lavender. I'll put that in that stock, in that stack. It's really, really soft. I did end up making a mask out of it. It was a little bit too soft for a mask, so I would go with something just a little bit stiffer. But I thought these were fun for my grandkids. I thought maybe shorts, overalls would be really cute, um, pants for my grandson. My granddaughter's 10 now, so she won't want the really cutesy stuff, but kind of, you know, she's growing up, she likes the boho look, so I'll find something. And I also just kind of find fabrics for masks, because we need, need them more and more, it seems like. But isn't this cute? Look, it's Toy Story. I thought that'd be cute for overalls or shorts or something for my grandson. He is absolutely in love with Woody and Buzz Lightyear. And if you're from Texas, does this remind you of Whataburger? <laughs> I thought it did. <laughs> so if it had Whataburger on there, hey, that'd be, that'd be really fun. So the cupcakes I thought would be really fun to make something for my granddaughter. I did make a mask and she absolutely loved it and her birthday was yesterday. So, you know, it was just kind of fitting. And then I was giving her a hard time about let the cupcakes be upside down <laughs> or let it squish on your face. So anyway, this is just a like a quilting cotton and you can do almost anything out of it. And I just thought it was really, really cute. And then for my granddaughter, I think the overalls, she has, she just looks adorable in the overalls. And this is, it has unicorns in it. So I thought this would be really cute with just a solid uh, top underneath of it, a knit top. I just really liked it. I think she will too. We'll find something to make out of it for sure. And this is really pretty. I really, really like this. And I think my granddaughter will too. Uh, even if it's just a pair of shorts, uh, maybe a top or a little bomber jacket, just, just something. It's just fun and you know, with all the floral, kind of a modern abstract print. Just really, really like that. The colors really speak to me. And this kind of Tiffany blue is, is what I want to paint back here and get rid of the purple. I love the purple, but I'm just ready for a new color in, in my sewing room. <clears throat> and then you can't go wrong with finding Walt Disney stuff. My family has been to Walt Disney so many times. <laughs> And this, this is just a fun, fun print. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna make with it. I might find some patterns and see what uh, my granddaughter wants. Might even, I don't know, it's more princess. So I think this is more grand, granddaughter than grandson. But here's one for my grandson. I found this really cute Tonka truck. My grandson loves trucks, um, he loves Oh gosh, Transformers, that's what I was trying to think. He's always transforming into something. But I thought this would be really cute. It would be a cute overall. So I guess I'm in an overall mood, so I need to find <laughs> some overall patterns for the kids. So he's four, four and a half, and I think he would like that. And then again, I think my granddaughter would like the, the little pastel rainbows. Just really cute. Just want to really find some fun patterns for kids. I've heard about Ellie and Mac. I need to look there. Um, I'll, I'll go look. I know Love Notions, Jaylee has some. And then I actually found Colorado Rockies. So baseball started back up. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> and I found some fabric that would be fun, you know, for the boys in our family with Colorado Rockies. So the fabrics back here, I purchased mainly from L.A. Finch in Los Angeles and Girl Charlie. Girl Charlie, I believe, is where I got this fabric. And they're just really, really fun. They ha Girl Charlie has a lot of knits. And the knits are really good quality. 
So I want to just give a shout out to them about that. Just go on their website. What I like to do is look for brush knit. That's what this is. And then I kind of branch out from there because I don't like my knits to be too flimsy and then they roll. So I, I like, I like a little thicker knit. So girl, Charlie, I'll do a little demonstration at the end of this video, just so we can go in and I'll show you, um, what I look for when I'm looking for knits. Knits seem to be just a really comfortable thing to wear. Be sure to pre-wash. Sometimes they do shrink. Even if it's polyester, it'll shrink a little bit. And I bought, I bought a lot of solids right here. I've got a white, a navy, a little bit of black, uh, purple, and then a maroon. And they're just a really nice weight for um, knits. Oh gosh, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. This one I thought was really pretty. And this one's Girl Charlie. You can tell that I purchased, well I've, I've already made a top for a friend of mine. And so I, I have two and a half yards left. And I always put where I, where I bought it from. And it's just a really nice, this one's a little bit lighter weight. It rolls just slightly, but it made up so nice. So I thought that one was really pretty. And then that one was, this one was Joanne's. And the feather, this is going to end up being something for my daughter, Melanie. She loves feathers and she loves these colors. This one's a little thinner in weight. Um, I got three yards, so it should make up a dress and that laundry day tea dress for her just beautifully. And then same with this one. These, you can kind of tell they're already pre-washed, but I like to use these cake boards. So this is just a cake board, nine by 13, and I cut it in half. And I'm, maybe it's a little bigger than nine by 13. Yeah, it's the quarter sheet. So whatever size that is. And then I cut it in half. So I have all kinds of fun ones here that I can make up. And I guess I need to start looking towards fall I like the three quarter length sleeve because if it's long sleeve, I push it up anyway. And then it's not, it's a nice weight. You can put a little cardigan uh, jacket over it. So the, these are the ones that I got at Girl Charlie. That I really like. And some of these, I think I got this one at LA Finch. I just thought that was really cute. Really, really summery. This one was um, like end of the bolt. It is pre-washed and I think there's only a yard and a half, either a yard or a yard and a half. They have this like end of the bolt um, mystery box. So I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna get it. And this was one of them. It was just really, really cute. And this was another one. This would make, cause there's a yard here. So maybe just like a little pencil skirt. It's really nice and thick, almost like a double knit kind of fabric. Let's see. So I got this one. Yeah, Girl Charlie. I like to write them down just so I know in case I want to go back to the website and get more or figure out what the fabric content is. So I thought the cherries were really cute. <laughs> and my oldest daughter really liked this fabric. So maybe she'll get that one one day. This is my fabric call from Joann's. I guess it could be Girl Charlie and L.A. Finch. And check them out. Again, at the end of this video, we'll take a little browse through the websites. I wanted to show you where I like to find my fabrics online. If I just can't find anything here in town, I'm kind of limited with fabric stores. I have a really nice fabric store, but it's an hour away in Boulder. Otherwise, I have the typical Hobby Lobby and Joann's. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Sometimes I just want to branch out and find something different. One of my favorite places to shop for knits is Girl Charlie Fabrics. You really can't beat them. They have so many patterns, so many solid colors to choose from. Where I usually start is right here at the Double Brushed Poly. So let's click there and you can just kind of look down, see what strikes you. Here's what I'm wearing. 
today is this brush jersey spandex. So you can see there's 92% double poly, 8% spandex, and it's 60 inches wide, and I really like it. It comes in a variety of colors and different patterns, but I really just liked that one the best. So let's go back through here and just scroll and then go to the next page. I've made something out of this one right here that I really, really like. This one, I mine has more of a black background. Oh, it's this one right here. Yeah, I really like that one. That's one of my favorites. So as you can see, there is a lot of fabrics to choose from. And just go ahead and get a couple of yards. They're not that expensive. You know, $10 for two yards will make a laundry day tee easily. Just go through here and then you'll find out which fabrics you like the best. This one's kind of fun. Oh, let's look at this one. So this one is a cotton French terry blend, so it's light to medium weight. So that should be really nice. And it's 56 inches wide. And it's only $6 a yard. That's pretty good. Ooh, this is pretty. I guess I like stripes. <laughs> I was looking in my closet, and I have a lot of florals and stripes and checks. I don't really have anything that's solid. But you can go through here, solid cotton lycra. And they have so many colors. And it's kind of, I would describe the weight as like a Hanes t-shirt. Kind of the, the thick Hanes t-shirt. So it's just a really nice weight. But again, you can click on it and click on the red one and get more information. So that's Girl Charlie, one of my favorites. Next one, L.A. Finch Fabrics. They are in... LA, Los Angeles, California. It would be so fun to just drop in at some point. And they have some really pretty fabrics. Now what I was talking about was the end of the bolt sale earlier. This is where I just went ahead and did their end of the bolt mystery, mystery pack right here. And it was just fun. You don't know what you're going to get. Somebody else is choosing for you. I just had a really good time doing that. So you do have, here's the ITY knits, French Terry. Let's go ahead and look at some French Terry. And that's really pretty. So just take a look through there. They do have, if you're into making masks, like a lot of us have been just for necessity, there's some fun ones in here that you can do. And then there's Joann's. Some things you can't find in the store. So be sure to check online. And what I do is do brushed double, oh, and we're already there, double poly. I have purchased this one. I do love this fabric. It's nice and thick, almost a suede kind of feeling. So I have made a top out of this fabric. I really like it. I would even make something else out of it. That's how much I like it. It is, it is thick, but not too thick, and it almost has a suede-like quality. So really nice for fall. You can choose how many yards you want. Minimum is two yards. Ship it, pick it up, curbside, or you can go in the store. So go ahead and check out their fabrics there. And then there's Mood. Who doesn't love Mood? I had so much fun there last year. My daughter and I went to New York City, and I could have stayed there all day. It's kind of overwhelming, but you know, if you, I really recommend that you take the time to go through there. They do have their own fabric line, so check that out. Or you can come up here and just put, I'll say, Jersey Knit. And they're going to give you some selections here. So let's see, cotton jersey knit. And again, it's just rolls and rolls and rolls of fabric. And then they'll let you know when it's almost sold out. And there's so many queries you can run, you know, by project, fabric type, skill level, pattern. I mean, the sky's the limit with mood. And that's a fun one. 
So these are my four favorite online stores to purchase. I've not had any problems. And, you know, I really encourage you to, to check online, especially if you don't live near a fabric store. This would be a great idea. So be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.